atypical femoral fractures which we were discussing quite a bit about yesterday so let's straight away go to the case this is a 57 year old lady fell at home just looking at the fracture itself uh, one realizes that it's probably a bisphosphonate induced atypical femoral fracture and um, therefore on asking the history this was what she was on she was on allentronic for 5 years now with this history and this fracture what would be the plan of action this this case i have operated in 2018 or 19 i think any a1 a1 nail in a plate in a plate. nail plate yes. today yes. Hey, any but in 2018 also sir you would have done that now 2018 19 i started doing that for elendronate fractures because they take a long time to heal so nail is a must which nail and which plate yeah. recon nail and a hook plate hook plate yes either a recon nail and now a pfn is just the same okay but okay sir any any other i have done a pfn and bone grafting pfn and primary bone grafting devashish pfn and primary bone graft yeah even if you got a close reduction you would do a primary bone graft to shurut i mean given the whole history i would have done a recon nail of some kind and a anterior plate or anterolateral plate and no bone grafting nail and plate Can I? nail and plate Sir. but in a lateral position the most challenging thing here okay. is the pedestal yeah is the industrial callus correct so unless you remove that putting your guide wire it will keep deflecting you that is the first step so it's a fresh fracture as of now so you may be able to do close but otherwise you can open important thing is to remove the industrial cap yeah any other thought from anybody in lateral position reduction will be little bit easier here okay in the lateral position fine so uh, we practically discuss this position of surgery i uh, always uh, nail in lateral position whatever the fracture of femur so i'm used to doing a lateral position and in those days i was not really um wary about doing a nail plate or a dual fixation for this fracture so i decided to do a close nailing and did this uh this is the typical point of entry problem yeah that's the reason it is opened out on the lateral side yes so this is the uh, Zimmer Cyrus nail, yes, and uh, it was achieved. A close reduction was achieved. It was reamed up to eleven and a ten size nail, or uh, twelve and a ten size nail was. Mind you, the canal is always very narrow in these fractures. So I, I thought that reaming, internal reaming, uh, reaming would like act like an internal bone graft, and I did not open the fracture side at all. So this was the result, but, but it is in the varus, little bit varus. That is the problem. Yeah. So that is a continuous stress is going on. So and there is what... very stress, high stress area here. Hmm. And Doctor Vikas Agas has said exactly, probably could not make the trajectory of the guide pin parallel to the lateral uh, uh, wall, just because of that internal endosteal pick. In fact, in order to ream, if you see. there is a kind of an iatrogenic fracture, fracture here yeah yeah here so chetan my question to you is sorry my question to you is uh, all of us have gone through that phase of doing intramedullary nail for this and all of us have gone through the phase of pushing it into varus by uh, entry entry point by virtue of entry point and most of them have healed but some of them have failed so we rethought that uh, for subtrochoid fractures correct our entry point maybe think of a better implant or maybe augment our implant so 
are we today not looking at our successes at all just a thought which came in my mind now uh, because uh, looking at those 15 to 20 percent uh, failures sir we are all thinking of now uh, either angle blade plate for such a fracture or a nail plate for such a fracture but a plate donate fracture surface implant is not a good choice because it takes a long time to heal up and the surface implant may not last for that long a time. That's the reason intramedullary implant is a must. The addition of intramedullary implant, whether you do another surface implant, a plate or a plate, that's a different thing. Which today, for last about four, three, four years, it is my choice. Ethan, Sir. as you know, this fracture is going to be in delayed union. There is a virus. There are holes in the distal part of the nail, so it might break and have a fracture, but it is better to intervene now, even now, to put a hook plate laterally or an anterior plate Sir, uh, augment the… Surgeon has done it. He's, he doesn't have the capability to go down immediately. So I, honestly, I was not… Uh, aware about augmenting these fractures in 2018. Yeah. So I thought I have done a reasonably good job. I have done a close nailing. I have reamed quite a bit, which would act as an internal bone graft. And I had counseled the patient that this goes into a delayed healing. If required, we may have to do something like an additional bone grafting or revising the fixation if need be. Sangeet, you were saying something. Sangeet. If you allow me. Uh, the external rotation and the abduction has not been corrected initially, a wrong entry point. And if you compare, these are the two deformities of a subtroke which have not been addressed. In a deformed position, uh, there is tremendous stress. But you think looking at, at the, the lateral, side. there is a rotatory problem? Still, still there. It is not corrected. And you have now the design, Cyrus nail, where one of the screw is at the fracture site. Uh, in a subtrochantric area, the bone is cortical. Any cortical bone takes a longer time to heal. So, uh, probably the screw area is where the, uh, it is going to break. Observation is because it is anatomical nail and the reduction is not an anatomical. In the lateral view, if you see, your screws are going near the posterior border. Because you are, it is not aligned. That's why the jig is not allowing you to go into the center of the head and neck. So in the lateral view, I can put my screws anywhere, rotating that neck. But because of this, the nail, because I of this reduction, because of this abduction and slight external rotation, the clamp assisted reduction would have helped in perfect reduction till you fix it completely. The clamp assisted reduction would have given a good contact at that level. Even the alone nail would have sufficed if reduction was not a problem. Okay. So, the point uh, the reaming of the distal fragment, sorry, reaming of the proximal fragment distal end. From proximally, it is very difficult to ream out that lateral cortex. Because every time you go, you will go on reaming out more and more medial cortex. So I have found it. That, that reaming, since you nail, you cannot go unless you go down from distally. Open the fracture, go distally. And there only you will be able to ream out that bone so that your nail will remain on the lateral cortex. Right. Otherwise, this is the one which happens and you will probably hear also what you have done it. Medial border, you have really burst it. Right. So... Uh... So at six months, there was no sign of healing as expected. In fact, uh, the patient was okay. She was walking on it, full weight bearing. I was not happy. This was not healing. I was uh, worried about the nail breaking. We had stopped, obviously, the alendronate started on teriparatide, everything. Then uh, this happened. So at six months, the distal bolts broke. And uh, how do you think it will heal? 
auto dynamization auto dynamization natural dynamization has happened. but still we are dealing with a pathological fracture isn't it yeah. so normally if it no it would not have been a pathological fracture probably there was some chance hmm. so at 8 months the not only bolts but the nail also broke as sangeet had predicted i do not have that x ray because she is a outstation patient uh, from ambannagar or somewhere uh he has lost that x ray of the nail broken at the fracture site fracture site yes yes so because there are two holes one dynamic hole and one static hole in the cyrus design yeah. even if there was no hole it would have broke uh, it could have broke yes ever yeah. at 8 months i had to revise it now how do i revise it Again, nail, again nail and nail plate, plate, sir. Nail plate. Nail plate. Nail plate and a BMP, but the bone graft alone is not good enough. So nail plate plus BMP. BMP. Any other option? Because Any the option? graft which you take from the same patient is inferior graft. So it's a pathology. It's a pathological graft. So if the BMP is possible, BMP. Otherwise, whatever this bone marrow and hollow graft or whatever you want to. Yes. How? No, at this level with a seventeen or fifteen millimeter nail going in, you need a hook plate because yeah. otherwise your proximal fragment uh, hold is really very poor. You can pass screws, miss a nail, but then for the contour of that plate, proximally you need a hook kind of a plate. A any any thoughts? I, I, how I, how would you revise this, Gurinder? The plate cooperating with the nail. The screw goes through the plate through the nail. That is the best uh, proposal. Okay, so. the nail also a uh, nail plate combination but you would do that in 2018 as well nail plate <laughs> yes so <laughs> 2018 i had tried uh, using opposite side lower end femur plate reverse it and ah so this patient was uh, from a I tell you i think at that earlier time when i spoke about it i was ridiculed ala do do implant kyu mangta hai hamara to ek mein acha ho say i myself have like i said published it for all other areas of femur except the subtroch <laughs> because the gtr was not available at that time and i i always had this problem how to contour a dcp or a, any other plate at that level so well, i thought uh, i don't know if anyone else had used it opposite side lower end femur actually fits perfectly well zimmer i'm can use how oh, this patient was not financially well off my my plan was to use the smith nevu because i use that plate for revisions always so that plate was out of question because the patient could not afford it uh i had to not i mean i could not just do a renealing and be happy about it with bone grafting so i wanted to use a surface implant at this time Tanna sir, they are talking about that single plate of the zimmer without the nail. Is it okay for such conditions, sir? Only plate. Only plate. They are talking about the surface in implant a, only. In a Allen, in a Allen donut fracture. Yeah. Surface so, implant alone. Be, is because that plate. plate will not work with the nail. Because that trajectory of the screws will not go with the nail. So I did this. So Shuru, this is what you were talking of. Yeah. So for revisions, by then I used to use. Uh, only the distal femur lcp for those who could not afford the proximal femoral plate of smith nevu uh, company and adequate bone grafting she was already on teriparatide so that can I, can i just add up hmm. thing i endorse you smith and nevu's proximal femur plate is a wonderful implant which i think initially the this which came out went out of market it was lousy it's the implant which is all alone in it fracture it is also one of the excellent Yes. So for ordinary fracture revisions at this level, I would still use that plate standalone with bone grafting. But for pathological bone like this, I would now use a nail plate combination. Sangeet, uh, still a condylar blade plate would have been a stronger implant, or in the same construct, you should have added an anterior additional plate. Yeah. So now that dual plating is what we are talking about today. Dr. Chetan, Pandalar blade plate and this more or less function on the same principles no. because both are angle stable implants. No, no, no. 
the incidence of failure, failure of this implant is about 20%. I think that you should not be apologetic that you have used. There's no use or saying that he was poor or he were there or you not knowing into. No, this. otherwise I would have used the Smith nephew. Uh, yes, Smith nephew, but surface implant I'm talking. Yes, surface, surface. These subtrochantric fractures can very well heal with surface implant. No doubt about it. Uh, be it an osteopetrosis, be it a normal thing, we are using Lindronet also. for osteopetrosis. Lindronet, Lindronet. Yes, yes, sir. The only thing you require is two plates for that. If you feel that your alindronate, which is going to take delayed union or a long time for union, he should not be apologetic about using a surface implant. This is one of the ideal treatments for these in most of the cases, but a dual implant in cases. Chitin, sir. Yes. Uh, one more thing we have done in such alendinate uh, fractures, we have added tense nails because uh, the intramedullary canal sometimes is so small. It's nail plate, right? Yeah, nail plate. You're, you're talking of a nail plate. Uh, this is at six months. Uh, when you're doing, at that point, at the point of when you're doing it again, you routinely use a Muller's compression device, excise that bone off. Yes. I do. I, if I cannot get adequate compression no, using the compression of uh, quality of the plate itself, it never comes. You will have it because it. Oh, I I don't hesitate to make it transverse. I tell the patient you will have shortening. Do that and put the molars. Take a constraint for shortening because it, it happens always. Point given by Dr. Ajeev is I agree. excellent. Articulating mm. tension device that ATD is a must in such cases of a subtrock, and we should. Getting compression is a must. I okay, articulating because otherwise you will not be. So this was at six months, teriparatide continued, everything going on. What will happen? One bicortical screw is not enough proximally. Sorry? One, One bicortical screw in the proximal fragment is not enough. So you think it will fail? I think it should heal. This is at six months. And then came COVID. So I lost her to follow up. I think they should heal, Chetan. And he. So I lost her to follow up here. She came back at one year. She was absolutely symptom free, doing everything. I wasn't because I could still see that fracture line and was quite wary about it. But she was even driving a two-wheeler, doing everything. And then I lost her to follow up. Because I wanted to present this case here, I called her the other day and she obliged coming. She said, I didn't come for follow-up because there was nothing. This is four years post-op. So, what Vivek was saying. So what and typically happens, Chetan, is once you realize that it is an alendronate induced fracture and you stop it, the effect of alendronate to wear off takes, uh, takes six months. Yeah. And after six months, that bone starts throwing. So metabolically, it becomes active again after six months. After one year or two years, these kind of fractures, they start healing up well. And the other thing which, I mean, this is for younger uh, colleagues that this is what has been published about this phosphonate induced fractures. Um, the another, another case quickly I will go through. This was a 65 year old non-union for two years. The patient was bedridden, ambulating only from the bed to the toilet and the dining table on a wheelchair. Now she had been uh, even the first surgery details are not known, but probably pleated uh, with a DCS and uh, this was how it was. Any thoughts on plan? DD, what will be your plan here? 65 years, non-union of two years. Looking at the level and then the way the bone is forming and also if I can create the medullary canal very well, then I still go for a, a nail plate option. Nail plate. Any other option? No, I think in my hand, nail plate will work. Your option, if at all you want to complete the list. Yes. Plate plate. Plate plate. Okay. 
fine so i am quite fond of using this implant for revisions and therefore i use this i used uh, an interfragmentary screw small fragment because it was a i could use that the fracture configuration was such that i could get some uh, interfragmentary compression across and then this was at 6 months this is at 1 year healed and walking full weight bearing so this is a good uh, implant the smith nevio proximal femur plate in revision cases and uh, of course nail plate is always an option thank you ethan sir you prefer a surface implant over the intramedullary nail